Hello and welcome to Tight TV. Um, Northampton game to discuss. We're in playoffs, just <laughs> discuss about that because some people seem to think that we did enough and we're in playoffs and we've had a we've had a decent season because we're in playoffs. So we'll discuss that as well. It's all about opinions, but if your standards are all right and you think you want to start pitch for just scraping past Northampton and scraping into playoffs, we didn't win league. And before we even get too far in front for Wembley, we need to be realistic here and step it back. So Ryan the beard of Uh Ryan Hello. as always, uh, pleasure, mate. So yeah, uh we'll we'll get right back to the Northampton game then. We obviously knew that Devaney were going to be entering Gaffer. He did so certain press calls, briefings, and got asked what will Jallo start, will this start, blah blah blah. He's wanting to play as express for sends and shackles be off. So when first eleven team lineup got uh, announced, Stephen subs to be fair, there were no real shocks or surprises, I don't think, Ryan. No, no, we're pretty much the same on it. Luca came back in, we expected him to do because he was fit or you know, at least fit enough to play. Um and it were same squad we, 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 you'd sort of expect him to play, really, I suppose. Um and I like to have seen Jello start and I like to have seen a change of formation, but you know, he'd only got I mean in his defence, he'd only got a few days to work with the team. You can't go doing out too radical, can you, I suppose, in a, in a, in it in what 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 a must win game. It turned out not to be a must win game, but um yeah, it, it, I mean, he promised a lot, didn't he? And I think, you know, the fans turned up, you know, the 15,000 in Oakwell, so, and, and mm. nearly 14,000 of those were, were, were Barnsley fans. Mm. So we, t- we turned up in numbers and, um, you know, certainly on the back of what 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 Martin was saying, I was hoping that we were going to have a, a significantly better performance. But, um, I mean, it weren't... First half, first half were better, you know. Mm. It weren't, it weren't the best first half, you know. It weren't the best performance we've had all season, obviously. But I thought we were comfortable. Great goal by Herbie Kane, I have to say. Good yeah. ball by, great ball by uh, Earl. See, so if you're going to play them flat, if you're going to play them long balls, they're the long balls to play flat, yeah. flat and thing. Not the big loopy backspin, you know, where it's just easy to get under and, and defend, or, or wind gets out of it, or spin gets out of it and takes it away. That good flat ball, great, great, great ball into um, Adam Phillips. Nice touch by Phillips and a, and a great strike by Herbie Kane after a great goal. Mm. And from there, it looked like we were going to go on and we'll win this now quite comfortably. Um, and first half were, you know, it were it it were a marked improvement on the uh, <clears throat> on the Blackpool performance. Um, and, and we look and we look comfortable. And then in second half, it just. It was boring, kind of wasn't it? That, isn't it? Yeah. It was boring, mate. It was just boring. It was just slow. They looked the tight. The players looked knackered. Mm. They looked mm. knackered. It was so slow and ponderous. Um, again, um, you know, and we passed up on two really great chances to finish, finish him off. Um, you know, Kane's done great to wait to pinch that ball from defender when keepers tripped past it back out. Mac has put him under pressure. He's passed it out. Kane's, Kane's picked his pocket. And Kane's done the right thing. A lot of people in the crowd were saying, why didn't he shoot? Angle were too tight to shoot. So he's pulled yeah. it back to Macca. And, and and the fault is he took a touch. He took a touch and then mm. and then he allowed him to get back. And he, he, should, he should have buried it with first with, with first attempt. And that, that should have been that should have been game over. And then we had that really good break. And Herbie just didn't pit right past, did he? Mm. He didn't pit right past when we got that. But we, we, I think we were three on two or four on two. And we were, we were absolutely flooding. Um, with Adam Phillips running down right, Adam Phillips, yeah, r- running to <laughs> my left yeah. there, running down right, and he just didn't pick pass and ended up losing it. But you know, but after that point, mate, he just went, he just, he just petered out. I think taking McAtee off worked wrong, re- massively wrong decision. Well, if you went punting uh, behind me, uh, question that as well because we thought, oh, oh, it's going to be the same here. McAtee's got, he says, you're joking, and then when it happened, it was like, really. <sighs> Why don't you leave McAtee on, mate? When, oh, whenever, mate. We take, whenever we take Mackers off, mate, we, we just lose at all as attacking impetus up front. We lose it mm. because he's, you know, he, he could finish a few more, McAtee. And, and sometimes, you know, it's almost like his football brain's too quick for his feet. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He can see what he wants to do and he knows what he wants to do. And I think that, that'll come where as, as he matures as a, as a, as a, as a footballer. Because I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be a superstar, that lad. Mm. Um, mm. But it's, it's his effort, mate. It's his effort, and he's he's closing down. Um, he's a nuisance, you know. And and 
when when, when we take it about, it some people just look at what he's doing with, with regards to finishing off, but it's his effort and his, his work rate that he puts in off the ball as well. And when we and when we when he went off and when he has been going off this season, we lose it. So it's like we've lost all this pace up front, yeah. and which it sounds daft because you know Devante is, a, you know, he's he's an incredibly fast player, but he ain't got that now. like um, like John McAtee has, mate. So I, I just thought it were a really poor decision. Cole weren't having a great game, and you know if you're taking Macker off, Macker off before Cole. And, and I don't want to point finger at Cole. Just keep. I don't want to be one of them, them fans that just keep going on about Devante Cole because I think he gets some really unfair flack and, and cheering him when he went off. His job. Sorry, he's he's, he's borderline ridiculous. Yeah, it's not on that. You know, there is his own player. You know, they weren't all having a good game. Stop. We we, we do tend to do that. It's just focus too much. Glad, certain. Yeah. yeah, and it's not it's not fair that you know. Imagine how that makes him feel. You know, what I mean, it's not it's not right. Whether whether he wants to be and going away, so you don't, you don't cheer your own players going off. That's just. Just mm. anyway, it it was it was clear that Cole were having a you know he were not having the best of games, and to to take McAtee off we're just I don't I don't get it mate don't get it. Um, I'd like to see McAtee and 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 Jallo working together. I think those two because they've both got loads of pace and stuff like that. I think I think they could work really well together. But I guess we you know we weren't going to see that yesterday were we because he he took McAtee off for Jallo. Um. Yeah, it just seemed second half, mate. It just seemed more at same. It mm. just seemed like they were not. It were like Neil Collins was still on sideline, mate. And um, I find it. Do you know what it is? We get ball out of defence, right? We get ball into defence from, from Robbo, and, and it, it gets ball, and, and then we just take too long to move ball out of defence, and, and we bring that pressure onto ourselves because all, all Northampton were doing then were that we're pressing us when we had ball at, at back. We don't shift that ball quick enough. We get it into defence, and then we're not picking it up and trying to move it into midfield quick enough. It's there's too many. Just I'll, oh, I'll hold on for it a minute. I'll hold on to it a minute, or, or I'll pass it to him and then pass it back. And then we get pressed, and then they end up having no choice but to fit. it. And it, if they could just move the ball quicker out of defence, you know what I mean? Just yep. move it quicker. Just 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 get on with it a little bit quicker. We wouldn't invite that pressure onto ourselves as much. Obviously, it, it will happen from time to time, but you, it's almost like every single time we're inviting it on um, because we're asking about where you're back. It's too slow and you're, you're letting them get back and letting them get set instead of trying to turn them around quickly when you know they're on attack. Robo's picked ball up. He's, he's feeding it out to one of the defenders and let's try and turn them around, catch them cold. But... I think that's what it kind of comes down to, kind of lead me on to me <clears throat> next uh uh-huh. Question observation, what I've noticed through the game as well. Is that I, I agree with you know, at this day, if, to be fair, Northampton and fair play to, for Northampton fetching up uh, over a you know, over, over a thousand. Oh, well, yeah, just over right, 12, yeah. yeah, so yeah. Uh, fair play to Northampton, but um, and to be fair, Northampton didn't really offer out in first day, in first day, if, uh, you know, Roberts didn't really have to get a mucky topper out, you know. Uh, yeah. great goal by K, like I said. What I noticed is that we're, we're trying to play a lot more through middle. Kane, he won't so much as he was trying to go forward, he was trying to pass forward a lot more than he was sideways yeah. and back. So, obviously, that's something has been worked on going into you know, apart from the goal, going to the second half. I half expected me to think, right, let's go for kill a second goal. Well, yeah. every one one note, I'm thinking it's still it's still tense. You, you know, all the results and stuff like that, what you know, could have had a, a, a difference. Uh, we were finishing the league. Regarding fifth, six, or maybe just starting it at uh, playoffs, and I kind it, it kind of baffled me. Like you touched touched, touched on there with McAtee, that baffled me because like when he goes up, like you said, we lose that attacking, that press down, close down impetus, and he had a, he had a go because uh, we chased one down. I think it was there number five, uh, and he had a bit of this, not a spat, but a bit of the words, a bit of verbal. I'm thinking McAtee's up for this. Yeah. His gain is in his ear. He's unsettled him. Not long after, probably 10, 15 minutes after, it, it gets subbed off. And I'm thinking, I would have preferred me, Phillips for Jallo, Jallo up front with Cole, McAtee just dropped behind him. Yeah. And he's got that bit of pace. And it kind of worked at Blackpool as well, because young Eddie Marsh, when he come on at Blackpool, that pace running at defence, that didn't tap him. So again, it, it were a bit like pedestrianised, like you just said, yeah, the same old, same old substitution, not really changed. And what I noticed in the second half a lot as well, 
because as players slowed down, we were, we were starting to go a bit more slow, a bit more predictable. That's when it went quieter in the ground, but that's when I kept looking over at sideline to Devane, he's trying to get the West, he's, he's trying to come on, come on, I'm thinking, well, he's got to work on pitch as well. He's got if you play well, attacking, yeah. pressing football, we're up for it. We were seeing his hearts out for up for staff and trying to get behind lads. But when, when it goes damp on uh, dead on pitch, and um, the... We're camped in our own half and we're invited pressure on. It's like we're starting to go back into the Collins-esque kind of play. That's where the, it's like we need more. But when, when we do go on attack, we're up for it. It's got to yeah. work both ways. You can't expect us to be going, go on, get behind lads. Go, get, get. We get behind lads all the time, like what you said there, Ryan. Is that there were 14,000 plus Barnes fans there. Sell that. It's got to work both ways. As much as we've got to help the lads, the lads have got to help us. And getting to, getting to their goal, I think I, I thought it was sloppy in so many areas. I think from their keeper kicking it for a free header onto a player, squared in Ren Roberts' questionable position. And it was, yeah. it just knocked stuff out of his butt. Then again, you go back to not being clinical enough, like you've touched on via, if I take my extra pat, we need to kill a game off. And whatever yeah. it's not going to be, we just got sucker punched and they end up being 1-1. One, one. It should have definitely been two, mate. should have definitely been two with that chance where 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 Kane's pinched ball from a defender. Should have def- absolutely 100% been 2-0 and should have most likely been 3-0. Um with that, with that break we had on, I think it was three or four or two, and we should, we should, we should have finished him off good and proper. But you know, again, let his play this all season, hasn't it? Yeah, mm. it, it? We sounds daft amount of goals that we've scored, but I, I hear that from fans a lot. We won at the third highest scorers in the league, yeah, but we could oh. be top, we could be top scorers in the league. Three and, miles and scor- away, yeah. But, and anyway, scoring goals has not been as problem as it's been conceding them. It's been a big problem, really, I suppose. But yeah, the 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 goal to give away because Irby's done what he's done. You know what I mean? He, he, he's in double silly, figures and all. Irby Kane it's, as well. It's, it's, it's in the silly free kick. Yeah, you had a great game. It's, it's in the silly free kick to give away. Um, you know, the, it was 95th minute, the breaking away, and he swiped his legs. I thought it was great, mm. actually, to be fair. <laughs> and it, he, did it, swipe, yeah. he, he did swipe. He did swipe. It was a cynical foul, but he had to, yeah. yeah. He had to do it because they were breaking away and it would end the game. That's what I'd have done. But it, 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 there's no way he's done it near to the box. So it's not like a silly free no. kick to give away no. in a dangerous position. He's done it in his own half. So. I'm not pointing fingers at Irby for that at all. It's exactly what I'd have done. I thought it would have been great. I thought, I thought it would have been a superb foul. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but then, you know, keepers tapped it to their defender. He, he, he's off ball towards um, area. Free header. It's not a free header on target, um, but it's a free header again. I don't know if, I can't remember if, if it were an header to finish or whether he's like it was like a side foot volley. Um, um, I'll, have to, I'll have to look at it again. But, where what will Liam? I don't understand Liam Roberts's positioning at all. Mm. He's mm. way out to the left. He's he's in no man's land. He's sort of in line with penalty spot. Way out to the left with his goal gaping, and they've nodded it across. And then lads lads just hit middle, and he's not sitting. There's no way he can recover, and he's miles out of his goal, mate. He should just mm. been just just you know what I mean. Just stay flat on your line, let your defenders do the defending. Ball were, you know what I mean. It's not like. <sighs> He didn't need to be where he, I don't. I don't understand why he no. was where he was. He's not so even. Comfort, he's not even comfort ball. He's nowhere near ball, and then he's in absolute no man's land. It's just a. He's a. It is a clanger, mate. It's a clanger, is that? But his defenders have got to do better. His defenders have got. To yeah, do better. yeah. It, this, the, 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 the one, the one free header knocked it into middle, and lads got uh, lads as free as a bird in middle to knock it in. Mm. Um. So it's you know it's two free attempts where unchallenged. Um. And it's cost us the, you know, it's cost us the draw. It's cost us the win, hasn't it, really? And, mm-hmm. and ended up being a draw. Um, and as much as people said we got done what we needed to get done, but no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No. Because a draw wouldn't have been enough. Had Bolton, as had uh, Bolton, had um, Blackpool or, or, Lincoln. Or, or Lincoln won the games. It wouldn't have been enough. We'd have, we'd, we'd have ended up in seventh. Mm. All right, whatever it would have been, we'd have, we'd have ended up outside playoffs. So we didn't do enough. We needed to win the game. The draw wasn't enough. We, we, you know, the fact that the people who got the job done were Reading and Portsmouth. 
I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be too negative. Now. I don't want to be too. No, negative. it's right. But that's, yeah, that's no, I totally, I totally, I totally get it, mate. Totally get won it. Their games, the one-all draw wouldn't have been enough. So no, we didn't get a bloody job done, didn't we? We relied on other teams beating, beating teams around us. Because if they hadn't, yeah, totally we wouldn't, the one-all wouldn't have been enough. Mm. So you know, I am pleased we've got playoffs. You know, and because now it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to put it all behind us now. The season's finished now. You know, and now it's cup football. And. You know, if the lads can't get up for that, then, you know, we're, we're, we really are in a bit of a sorry state. I've seen, you know, jo, uh, McAtee's um, rallying cry on online this morning, you know, and fair play to him for coming out and he's getting a lot of massive amount of backing. There's odd, odd person in there saying yeah, you know, yeah. we're shy in this and other, but the vast majority of people are behind him. Because, you know, we do, we love him, don't we? Because he's, he's, like I said, sometimes he could probably score a bit more and sometimes he can't get the ball out of his feet, but he's... The, the, his passion and his desire to play for Asher uh, is is second to nobody, and you know he's a loner, and it shows you the, the, the character of the of the guy, doesn't it? So I'm hoping that you know we can put it all behind us. You know we've had two good performances against Bolton this year. Um, I know Bolton are probably on better form than us, and we've been on poor form, but we also know psychologically that we can match Bolton, and we have done over the last two seasons. You know, in, in the seven games that we've played in over the last two seasons, and it's going to be nine by the end of this time, mm. the seven games, they've only beaten us once. Mm. We've beaten them twice and had four, we've had, that's four draws, isn't it? So, yeah, tough game. as far as when we've played each other, and this season they've both been draws. And they've both been good games as well. They've both been really good games. Mm. So, I guess I guess we'll see, mate. They've just got to get that, you know, put this to one side now, realise this is cup football, and we've got the opportunity now Regardless of how bad we've been for the last quarter of the season, and regardless of how bad his form has been, we, we've managed to, you know, we've managed to cling on to, to playoffs, and we've got, we've got the opportunity now, mate, and we've got to grab it. We've got to grab it. Don't t- t- put all the negativity to one side now. It's gone. Can't change it. It's done. It's now time to move on and 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 take this opportunity and not it's just. Not just yeah, and start again. Basically, mate. Yeah, start again and see it as yeah. Despite what's happened. We haven't lost it. We've still got that opportunity to go up. Foot, the football league's finished. Now we're in a, you know, we're in three we're finals. Cup, now. We're, in a cup, we're in a cup competition, mate. And it's time to, you know, fans to get behind, lads, which I'm sure it's a semi final under lights at Oakwell. Mm. Um, you know, I'm sure it'll age me about 10 years again, like it did last year, but, you know, we've <laughs> you know, pass, been a fan. Is, despite, despite what's happened all season, despite his run, despite what happened yesterday, it's like a reset, it, isn't it? Yeah, we have got the opportunity now. We have got the opportunity, and and I'm hoping the lads and c- can can rise to the occasion. I think when we play, um, when we play teams that are above us, off teams that say play better football and play more attacking football, we tend to play better against those teams, don't we? Yeah, we do tend to play better football against those teams. It's when you get teams that come back and make it really difficult, like Northampton did yesterday, just really rigid. Sat yeah. back, trying to, you know, what I mean, it just we don't seem to be able to cope with those sort of teams. Fortunately, there aren't any of those teams left in the in, in to, to play. You know, Peterborough an attacking team, Oxford are, and so are Bolton. So a decent games should be coming up. Let's let's just see. Uh, let's just see what happens, mate. I mean, if you look at the form, if you look at the form table, I think most fans, are probably rightly so, would think that Bolton are gonna. We're not going to beat Bolton over 180 minutes, but. He goes out to win the playoffs. Mate. I'll just say, last two last two times we've, we've won playoffs, we finished sixth. Hmm. Full for thought. Yeah. Full for thought. We'll be doing a video for uh, the Bolton game probably midweek for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. More in depth. All being well, we might find a bit more out from club. What's the guy that manages the situation? Not going to mention that today. It's not about that. It's about the. the after match and you know looking forward. Just want to give a shout out to the club as well. Uh, Praise to the club as well uh, for the Reds remembered for that war yeah. the poignant moment. I know we do it last home game and it's always uh, respected well. So fair play to the club for ca- continuing that and we put it on socials as well. So what name for yeah, the roll call. So that's a nice touching moment. And, you know, his heart's quite to all uh, the people what's left for loved ones. And also fair play for Bolton, uh, the Bolton game, 20 quid a ticket. Um, yeah, straight across board, 20 quid a ticket for adults, and I thought fair play to the club for that coming out, not missing 
not having this, having that, it's 20 quid. And I thought, yeah, do you know what? Fair play. Um, I know they've been, you know, for away fans, like 20 is plenty. But it's great to see that club didn't mess about last night. They more or less came straight on and went, oh, they go on sale Monday, short turnaround, come with 20 quid, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking, fair play. You know, it's, it's what you want to see come from club. Um, Neil, do you know how many away fan tickets we're giving them this season? This time, don't know yet. I know. I hope we give tickets. them the full. The, let's get it full. Let's get it full. Let's not do what we did last year. That silly, silly mind games that Cali did, where they only give us, they only give all two thousand one hundred. So they only give us. Serve it the same. Yeah, let's that's not, what bugged it up, isn't it? Yeah, let's not do that. Let's let's get our qual full because it's it's absolutely banging when it's full, isn't it? It's a different it's a different atmosphere. Let's get let's give them the five thousand or whatever it is that we can give. You know, same as like we get to Derby other on its season because Bolton will most definitely sell them. Well, they said that they, they said what 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 comment at the time where it said I think it was something like we want to give them some tickets but not full amount because it will make it more like an own game for them. I'm thinking we get the same amount from Bolton, but we're going to set take you know similar following away at Bolton, so it kind of. Yeah. It's an atmosphere. What what atmospheres yeah, make games mate, as well? Atmospheres can make the games. Of so it does. Let's, let's give them. You know what I mean? When we've when we've played Wednesday and and Derby at home, when when, when yeah it, yeah, it's awesome, mate. That the you know what I mean? They're a lot louder, which then they turn makes us a lot louder. Yeah, it, it, it inspires the players. Bounces, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes for a proper occasion. Make it an occasion instead of trying to play silly mind games and trying to maybe get. You know, a little bit of an advantage because let's face it, when there's not been many fans in the way, and a lot of times this season, it's hardly helped us, has it? No, that's true. <laughs> it's hardly helped us. So, you know, I hope, I, hope there's no, I hope there's no daft on that side. And I hope they give them the full allocation, and then in turn, that hopefully mm-hmm. Bolton will give us more tickets this time. Same. As well. I, 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 won't be keep, I won't be queuing at seven o'clock in the morning trying to get a ticket. No, that's true. <laughs> like last, yeah, like before. Um, right. I'm going to give uh, a mention. To mindless idiots that ruined it for a lot of uh, fans, uh, storm it pitch. Well done for like ruining it for everybody else. Um, young la- uh, young kid, I'm not going to mention names, but young kid on Twitter, I reposted it and shared it. And fair play as well. Another shout out to Bounds Football Club for Kitman Chris and Martin Devaney. Not long after, got in contact with the, the parents and we're trying to sort it out. For the uh, uh, Liam Roberts uh, goalkeeper's top, so it's this, for an autism charity, isn't it? It is. It's for a charity. Yeah, a child's autistic, and yeah. and, and, and they promised. Uh, We've been raising money. Promised, promised the thing to raise money because she's been raising, you know, raising money for charity, and and they were going to do it so they could sell it off, auction it off, yeah. and raise money for charity. And then for, for him not to do that, I mean, my nephew's autistic, and when, whenever you do anything like that, because he'd have been waiting. He yeah. sat there waiting for it to happen, being really excited about it happening, and then to get it completely pulled away from him, yeah. it really it really upsets autistic children and stuff like that. Changing of 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 of, of plans or changing of, of routine, yeah, it's not great. And poor poor child had a had a massive meltdown. It's like you, you've gone there's all, there's consequences for you know reactions for and consequences for people's actions, isn't there? And mm. and it's it's not fair, mate. It's not fair. No. And but but it's great to see, you know, the power of the internet sometimes, power of social yep. media can be brilliant. Well, I reposted it and I tried tagging it, as so. many into it. And um uh, the parent messaged me on Twitter and said, Thanks. Um uh, a lot of people have jumped on it and Kitman Chris is like going in contact, I said, Don't worry, we're gonna sort it out and we'll get in contact with you. So fair play to Bound the Football Club for that. Yeah, that's good, that's great. Brilliant. But just getting back to mindless idiot, storm it pitch. You know, we wanted to see the players, we wanted to know player announcement for, you know, player of the year, but all that's been took away. So fair play for that all year, you know, thinking we won't league or Champions League. We, we scraped through Northampton, scraped into sixth spot. Yeah, we're celebrating. And then embarrassment as well to all football clubs. If you've seen it, if you've seen it on social, if you've not seen it on social, there must be something up. But we, basically, we're getting pistol cartilage as a football club because yeah. we've got these mindless thugs, idiots, storm at pitch, thinking it's funny. And now you've got the the old football community looking at us, thinking, We're absolutely you know, getting pistol, pistol carting. Yeah. So well done for that as well. It's, it's not, a man we've, we've all been tired. We've all been tired with the same brush now. Been tired with the same brush because, and I can appreciate why they think that. They've seen photographs of fans running onto the field, and it's because we've got you know we've we've we've, we've got us playoff spot and from anybody from outside and every other fan you know from all the other clubs are going to look at that and think how tin pot is that how embarrassing is that celebrating that's what i've actually said pitching, tin pot, tin pot, tin pot six fans. players with a one-all draw against a mid-table team 
Mm. No, that trust me, ninety five percent more the fan base weren't weren't going on field and haven't celebrated it and mm. realised how lucky we are to be able to get that last playoff place. Yeah. We've all been tired with the same brush because of a handful of idiots that have run onto the pitch and spoiled it for everybody. It's just, why why have you done it? It's really embarrassing. It's not funny. It's not clever. Yeah. Not There's nothing There's nothing to celebrate yet. Yes, we've got playoffs. Yes, we've got an opportunity. But we haven't even played, we haven't even played the first semi-final yet against Bolton. Exactly. So, you know, I, I just think it's, it's made us look really, really stupid, mate. It's made us look really football silly football. when the vast majority yeah. of us think it's think think they're just idiots and it's just yeah. just stupid, mate. I I hope they've got CCTV and stuff like that and some of them get pinched because it's moronic, mate. It's yeah. it's, 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 it's some of the sneak creeping back into the game, in it, this wannabe hooligan thing where all wearing Stone Island gear and, and, and Burberry scarves and stuff, and it's just like do you know how much of a dick you look? <laughs> yeah. How much of a dick you look? Wearing that stuff, everyone just looks at you and think you're a knob, and it's just, yeah. and, and and then you go and behave like that, and it just confirms it. <laughs> yeah, it just true. confirms it. That that's exactly what you are. Yeah. So, so it's, it's just yeah. embarrassing. They're just kids. They're just daft kids, mate. You know what I mean? They're daft kids, and it's just want to grow up a bit and just realise just how tin pot and embarrassing that's made us look. But yeah. you know, the vast majority of the fan base. <laughs> we're not going onto that pitch. We're celebrating. Have no intentions of going on pitch, and we're certainly not celebrating the fact that we've got into playoffs. We're happy that we've got into playoffs. Don't get me yeah, wrong, but, but we're certainly not celebrating the fact that we're scraped in by bloody skin of his teeth. Far from it. No, far from it. <coughs> uh, so yeah, uh, people in comments, let us know your thoughts as well uh, about the performance, about you know everything, uh, the tactics, uh, Bolton game now, it's going to be in playoffs. Dave Jones will probably comment as well. Uh, Bolton fan who joins the channel, so it'd be great to have a bit of banter with him as well. Um, yeah, Ryan, appreciate it as always, mate. Yes, we, we've covered Northampton game. The fact that we're in playoffs, uh, it's a cup final, you know, everybody got to treat it as a final. Let us know your thoughts. Hope you have a bit better week for football still for Barnsley. Uh, Friday, and then I think it's for a week of Tuesday for the second leg at, at, at uh, Bolton. So, again, Barnes have still got some football to play. Um, let us know, like I say, your thoughts. Please like, subscribe, and share as you always do. Appreciate you taking time out. A rest, best of a weekend. Weather's not great, but hey ho, Barnes didn't play off, so let's hope we can get to Wembley. Yeah. Squeaky bum time coming up. Uh, one thing left to say, you were heads. <laughs>